What's up everyone and welcome back to the second HTML video tutorial here at beginnertouch.com. In this video I will be showing you how the basic HTML5 document structure should look like. In addition I will also explain some of the terms used in HTML so that you will be able to better understand what I will be teaching and saying in these videos. As you can see I've already created this document structure um, so I'll just be walking through different elements of it. A HTML document always have to start out with a document type. And in HTML5, the document type is actually pretty simple. It is actually just this one up here. Compared to previous document types, this is very simple. Uh, and that is also the basic idea behind HTML5, and that is to make things a little bit more simple. Next up, we have the HTML tag, and that is this one. Please notice that the HTML tag have a opening tag and a closing tag. Within the HTML tag, I have specified what language this HTML page is going to be in, and I have specified it to be US English. So this HTML tag will tell the browser that now it has to read HTML. So it's quite important that you have this tag. Next up, we have the head tag. Again, we have a opening tag and a closing tag. Within the head tag we have the title and we have a couple of meta tags. The title should describe what is on your page. The title is actually quite important because the title will be used and shown in search engine results. In addition it will also be the title that is displayed in the tab bars uh, in the browser. So always remember to create a unique and a possibly catchy title for all your different uh, HTML pages. Next up we have the meta tags. There are actually more meta tags uh, than the three that I've shown here, but um, these are the most important. First I have a meta tag that um, specifies the char set, uh, the character set. I won't go into detail about this char set, um, it basically says that it has to use this type of char set. Then we have the keywords meta tag. The keywords has to describe what is on your page. I've used the keywords tutorial, video and HTML5 for this document. Then we have the description meta tag. Here you have to describe what is on your page. I have said that this is a page about a video about HTML doc structure. Again, this meta tag description is very important because it will also be used by search engines. So try to create a unique and nice uh, description of all your HTML5 pages. So that was basically it for the head tag. Again, it should be noted that you can put a lot more uh, elements, different elements in your head tag. I won't explain them here because this is just the basic and most necessary structure of a HTML5 document. Okay, so then I head down in the body section. Again, we have an opening tag and a closing tag. Within the body tags, I have created a tag called P, and that stands for paragraph. Here we also have an opening tag and a closing tag. This whole line of code is called the element. This is a HTML element. What stands in between the opening tag and the closing tag is called the element content. If I then enter the opening paragraph tag like this and then type class and just type blah blah then this class would be called the attribute an attribute to the paragraph element and now you're probably wondering, what is a class? Don't worry about that right now. This is just an example. I will explain a lot more about attributes and classes in the videos to come. So this is what is in between our body tags. And this is also what will be shown in the browsers. Everything outside the body tag will not be shown in the browser. So let's try to view this in a browser. So I move up here and press view. And as you can see, it types out hello world, which was our element content. And again, this is the only thing that was in between our body tags. So this is the only thing that will be shown in the browser. Again, 
we also have my first HTML5 document, which was our title, and that is also what is shown in the browser tab. So this is pretty much what I wanted to show you today. Now you're ready to write some HTML uh, documents. In the next video, I'll be showing you some basic HTML tags like how to insert a picture or make a link, headings and so on. If you have any questions about this video, please visit our website at beginnertouch.com where you can join our forum or ask questions beneath this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.